It's challenging and repetitive work performed in a noisy environment. These sorters help keep the lines at Alpine Waste and Recycling moving. The people we have are great at what they do. They sort really well. Alpine's Brent Hildebrand says it also goes for one of his newer employees. Six months on the job and getting better all the time. He is Clark, the robot. As he's working right now, uh, he's watching everything that's on the line. And as he sees more and more material, he learns more and more. Clark is Natanya Horowitz's creation. The founder of Amp Robotics in Colorado used a National Science Foundation grant to build a device that uses artificial intelligence to pluck recyclable products from a conveyor belt. A recycling industry group helped sponsor Clark's effort to identify milk and juice cartons, something new technology now allows robots to do. You show them thousands of examples of bottles and cans and everything else, and they begin to learn what it is that distinguishes them, just like a person might. So it, it's learning certain logos, certain shapes, uh, certain textures are associated with one material over another. It's not an entirely new idea. The movie robot Wally -E once confronted massive piles of garbage as the last robot on Earth. Other companies have also employed waste sorting machines. AMP Robotics says its computer vision and machine learning cuts sorting costs, and robots come in handy when labor is scarce. It's getting harder and harder to find people, and when you do find them, you have to pay more and more. Uh, to keep them. Cartons are Clark's focus now, but it won't be long before robots are sorting plastic products and things like construction and electronic waste. For now, the focus is on improving the software and reducing Clark's error rate. His grip still needs some work. We've figured out the basics, um, but there's always going to be more uh, room for improvement. We have a long roadmap of additional features and additional capabilities that we're adding. We see improvements on a weekly basis. With a growing world that keeps generating more of this stuff, job security may not be an issue for Clark and all the smart sorters who are sure to follow. Hendrick Sabrandi, CGTN, Denver.